The Adidas Three Stripes logo is without a doubt one of the most recognizable in the world. Today, the stripes hold a special place in the pop culture zeitgeist thanks to big name collaborations with Kanye West and Pharrell Williams, plus the continuing success of the Adidas Originals collection. At first, however, the Three Stripes purpose was solely functional. They were used as stabilizing strips on some of the first track spikes created by brothers Adolf and Rudolf Dassler. The Dasslers even experimented with different stripes, prototyping with two and four stripe shoes. When Jesse Owens won four gold medals at the 1936 Berlin Olympics, at least one pair of Owens Dassler made cleats featured two stripes, not three. Adolf Dassler, nicknamed Addy, went on to found Adidas, while brother Rudolf established Ruda, which he later renamed Puma. But back to the three stripes and other Adidas trademarks that followed over the years. Unexpectedly, the story of Adidas' final adoption of the three stripes starts in Finland. The logo is actually a trademark of Finnish sportswear label Karhu, known recently for its iconic Fusion 2.0 sneaker. Adi Dassler bought the trademark from Karhu for today's equivalent of around $1,800 and, according to sneaker folklore, two bottles of whiskey. Dassler was so ecstatic with the new branding that he often referred to his business as the Three Stripe Company. By 1971, competition from rival brands such as Nike and Puma was fierce, so Adidas upped the ante in terms of branding, creating the Trefoil logo. The Trefoil was utilized as an emblem for the brand's lifestyle and casual wear. It consisted of three leaf shapes branching outwards to resemble a plant, with the now iconic three stripes running through the lower part of the logo. The Trefoil had a big part to play in Adidas's mainstream success. Hip-hop trio Run DMC famously rocked the Adidas Superstar, which featured the trefoil on the heel, and even released a single called My Adidas in 1986. The group is often credited with immortalizing the logo and boosting awareness of the Adidas brand in the US. Fast forward to 1991, and Adidas was preparing to launch a brand new high-performance line of products. This line would eventually be named the Adidas Equipment Range, or EQT. With this new range came a new logo. Take the original three stripes, stagger them vertically, tilt them roughly 30 degrees, and you have the three bars. This logo is often likened to a mountain, and the similarity is intentional. In the company's own words, the logo represents the challenge to be faced and the goals to be achieved. The three bars enjoyed widespread commercial success, and the logo is still the standard across most apparel today. Another rendition of the Adidas logo still commonplace is the word mark. First appearing in 2005, the word mark is the most minimal Adidas logo to date. The three stripes are placed horizontally alongside the word Adidas, which is written in the brand's classic sans serif typeface. Another iteration of the three stripes branding is the Adidas style logo. The logo depicts a circle intersected by three claw-like stripes. The sports style division of Adidas is responsible for some of the brand's lifestyle collaborations, most notably Adidas Neo and collaborations with Yoji Yamamoto. Today, the three stripes remain one of the most iconic and globally recognizable brand logos in the world, with Adidas applying the three stripes motif across the majority of its products. If you like this video on the history of the Adidas logo, hit subscribe, leave a comment, and share with a friend. For more on sneakers and streetwear, head to heisnabiety.com.